Hello and welcome to All Things Knitty's Crochet Channel. This week's project is a lovely little sleepy owl that you can use for a few different things. You could um, leave it as is and you've got a lovely hanger for your Christmas tree. You can sew two together. So you would make one with eyes, one without eyes. Sew them together and you've got a lovely little money pocket um, for Christmas. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's really cute, isn't it? Um, for this pattern, you will need a few different pieces, uh, so everything is in the description box below. You're going to start with whatever colour you choose, um, with a 3mm, and we're going to begin with a magic ring, okay? Okay, so we're going to begin with a magic ring. So, um, if you don't know how to do this, there is another video that's come up that goes into this in greater detail, but for time's sake, I'm not going to go through it, okay? So, make a magic ring, and then chain one. Into the magic ring, you're going to work 12 puff stitches. For this pattern, a puff stitch is two yarn overs and pull through all five. So yarn over, go into the loop and pull up. You've three, again, yarn over, go back into the ring, pull up. You've five loops, yarn over, pull through all five. Repeat. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over a second time, you've five loops, pull through all five loops. One. Two, making sure that all your stitches come up to the same height. Yarn over, pull through five. Continue to do that until you've got 12 puffs uh, and we'll begin round two. Okay, so when you've got 12 puff stitches, you're going to pull the tail, but don't close this tight just now. Just keep it loose for the time being. Into the very top of the first puff, you're going to work a slip stitch. Okay, so once you have a nice ring made, just make sure all your stitches are quite neat. Again, we're not going to close this tight until the very end. Okay, so we're going to chain one. This stitch doesn't count, okay? We're now going to be working in between the puff stitches, not the stitch. So in between the puff, you're going to do two puff stitches. So it's working an increase all the way around. You'll have 24 puffs in total. Yarn over once and twice. Yarn over, pull through all five, and you're making sure you're between the puff stitches. Yarn over one, twice, pull through all five. Again, we're going in between these two puff stitches, and you're going to work your increase. One, and two. Just take your time when you're doing this part, uh, like you've seen there, I've snagged the yarn. So just make sure you're right through between the puffs. One, two. Okay, so you're going to continue doing that, working an increase in between every puff stitch and stop at the end and we'll finish round two together. Okay, so I've just got one more uh, increase to work. So it's a, this one's a wee bit more difficult to see. So here's our chain one that didn't count right down here in the center you're going can you see that little bar make sure you're under that and work your last increase and you should have 24 puffs in total so just double check that you've got the right amount and then we'll begin round three okay so to finish this round we're going to skip this chain one and into the top here you're going to slip stitch okay so round three we're not working puff stitches. We're going to be working three half double crochets into the space between the puffs, okay? So chain one and chain two. So that's your first, this counts. So we're going to work two more half double crochets in between the puffs. So you're coming right down here, work two more US half double crochets. So that's three in total. You're then going to skip the increase, so skip the, this kind of V-stitch with the puffs, and in between here, you're going to work three half double crochets. And repeat, so skip the V, three half doubles, skip the V, three half doubles. Continue to do that, and um, we'll finish round three. Okay, so when you've worked your last three half double crochets, you're going to skip this uh, V puff and you're going to slip stitch into that top chain. Okay, now we're going to chain one. This doesn't count. 
and into the same stitch, this time not between the puffs, so we're working into the stitches. And keeping this quite loose, you're going to work a full round of single crochet. All the way around US single crochet. I'll get you at the end, okay? Okay, so at the end of the round, you're going to skip the chain one and slip stitch. Okay, so this is the part where we're going to start doing like the ears and the wings. Um, so working into the stitches, you're going to be working up your sizes, then down again. So they'll get bigger, then smaller uh, as we go, okay? Chain one. And into the same stitch, we're going to work one single crochet. Into the next stitch, we're going to work a half double and a double. So one half double, one double crochet. Into the next stitch, we're going to work an extended double crochet, chain one, extended double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through your three loops. Yarn over, pull through one, okay? Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain one, and another extended double crochet into that stitch. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we've got taller, we're now going to work back down the way. So into the next stitch, you're going to work a double crochet and a half double crochet. So one double, one half double crochet. Okay, so you can see that we've made this little ear part. Into the next three stitches you're going to work one single crochet. So into the stitch, one, two and three. Now we're going to repeat uh, this, doing it on the opposite. So we will start with one half double and a double. So half double crochet, double crochet. Extended double crochet, chain one and an extended double crochet. Chain one, one more extended double crochet. So pull through one, two, two. Okay, so now we're going to work a double crochet and a half double crochet in the next. One double crochet, one half double crochet. Into this stitch here, you're going to work a single crochet and <clears throat> a slip stitch, excuse me. Okay, so we're going to start the wings and um, work another slip stitch. So the wings are worked over the first and last seven stitches. So slip stitch into the very first one. The, it's just one slip stitch, okay? So now into the next stitch, you're going to work a single crochet and an extended single crochet. So yarn over an extended stitch. You just go through one, then finish how you usually would. So pull through two. So single crochet, extended single crochet. Into the next extended single crochet and a half double crochet. Into the next stitch you're going to work a half double crochet and an extended single crochet. So pull through one, pull through two. Into the next stitch you're going to work a single crochet and a slip stitch. Now you're going to slip stitch in the next 12 stitches keeping it very loose. Okay, so slip stitch around the next 12 stitches. Okay, so we're going to start your the next wing and we're going to um, do what we did on the other side, okay? So we're going to start with a slip stitch and a single crochet. Working up our sizes, so single crochet and an extended single crochet. Single, extended single. Into the next, extended single crochet and a half double crochet. Into the next, half double crochet and an extended single crochet. Into the next, you're going to work a single crochet and a slip stitch. And then to end, you're going to work one more slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, and that's your little, the body of your little owl complete. So this is the point now where we're going to close your, um, close the magic ring, keeping it uh, tight. Just make sure all your puffs are in 
are nicely aligned before you start. So fasten off and um, pull the yarn through. We're going to do an invisible join with this. So uh, grab your darning needle and I'll show you how to do the invisible join. So we're going to skip this stitch and go to the next stitch, pushing the your needle through the work to the back. Okay, and now we're going to come back to where we started with our needle coming from the back to the front this time. And that gives you a nice invisible join. Now you can pop the your tail, sorry, your yarn to the back and uh, weave in the ends, okay? Okay, so for the eyes, you're going to grab some white yarn and you're going to magic ring eight half double crochets, okay? So when you make your ring, the chain one at the start doesn't count, okay? So into the ring, magic ring eight half double crochets. Continue and I'll get you once you've got all eight. Okay, so now we're going to pull the tail and pull the ring closed. Into the first stitch, you're going to slip stitch. So come over here and work a slip stitch. Then cut your yarn and pull it straight through. And again, you're going to do the invisible join uh, so that you don't have a little step in the eye, okay? So you skip. So here's where we are. We're going to skip the first stitch and come into the second, going from the front of your work to the back. And then come back to the stitch that you started in from the back to the front. Oops, sorry. Okay, and then pop your stitch back to the back of your work, ready for sewing in. So you're going to uh, use this tail. So you can pull the center of your eye closed. And like I say, you need to make two of these, then just put them to the side and we'll work on the beak. Okay, so with a contrasting color, you're going to begin with a slip knot and chain three. Okay, so you're using a 2.5 millimeter hook for this part and then chain three. One, two, three. Into the very first stitch here, you're going to work three double crochets. Yarn over, go into the stitch and work three double crochets. So pull through two, pull through two. Then into the same stitch, you're going to work a slip stitch. However, when you put your hook through, make sure the tail comes over your hook to the back of your work before you work your slip stitch and that just kind of holds uh, it neatly together, okay? So slip stitch. Okay, so you can fasten that off again with a long tail because we're going to use it to sew uh, our parts together. Okay, so grab your little owl body and the eyes and I'm going to show you how we attach them where the back side of your work you don't see any of the stitches, okay? So grab your eyes and you're going to mark out or place them um, both on just so you can get an idea of where you want to place them but here just under the ears is probably best. Leave in a little space because this is where you're going to attach your beak like so, okay? So the eye here, we're going to, we're not working into the, the chains at the top because we want these Vs to show uh, through. So tilt your work forward. Pick up one stitch from the body. Make sure you're not coming through to the back. So one part from the body and then I don't know what's going on with this. Into this back bump here that you can see. There. Pick up one loop from the eye. Then repeat. So you are going one stitch from the body. Making sure that you're not going through to the back. And then into that back bump. You're going to pick that loop up. And you do that around. Um, like my embroidery teacher says, the back of your work should be just as neat as the front of your work. Um, so take your time doing this bit and it will really help make your little owl uh, look really neat, okay? So one stitch from the body, pick up the back bump. You might have noticed that the tip of my 
uh, needle is hooked up the way. This just really helps when you're picking up stitches uh, using this method. Okay, so one stitch from the body and the back bump. Continue doing that until you've got both your eyes on and we will uh, attach the beak, okay? So just make sure you're going through the back bump, not these Vs that show at the front. Okay, so now your eyes are attached, again, hopefully you can't see any of your stitches on the back. We're going to add our little beak, making sure where we ended with the slip stitches right at the bottom. Okay, so position the beak right in between the eyes, resting uh, right in the middle, like so, in between the eyes like that. Okay, you're going to attach this in the same, using the same principle as before. We're going to pick one little stitch from the body, making sure that you're not going through to the back and then find your back bump of the stitch. Oh. So there's the back bump. You're going to go through that like so. Okay, so one stitch from the body and the back bump. Okay, so continue to do that and we'll move on to uh, doing the little eye, uh, the little sleepy lines for the eagle, okay? So finish uh, putting on your beak and we'll do the eyes. Okay, so let's add the little line. You can either go up the way or down, it's up to yourself. But you're going to start in line with the beak. So we're starting here. Insert using your embroidery thread. We're going to be working uh, very tight chain stitches here using your darning needle, okay? So you're only going to be picking up one little bar at a time. Okay, so go under the bar and then work a chain stitch. So come round the hook like so. And then pull your uh, thread through. Okay. So each little chain is only over one bar. So start by going back into the same chain. Move along one bar and work another chain stitch. We're going to do that all the way around, following the shape of the eye. So you start in the chain, go across to the next uh, part of the eye, just the bar, one bar, sorry, and you want these all to be nice and neat. Okay, so you're going to finish when you've got a nice little over here. We're going to go straight over to the next stitch. However, if you can't do this without it being neat, just fasten off, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're going to go right across. So go back through the same stitch as before. And we're now going to be working in between all these stitches. So you might need to jiggle your hook a little bit. but you're in between and behind all these stitches and come into the white part. This is just a way to save some time, but if you can't do this, just fasten off and restart the eye like you did at the side, okay? And you're going to do the same. You're going to, so you shouldn't be able to see that at all going from side to side because you're in between. Finish doing that all the way around and then we'll do the little hanging part and that will be you finished. Okay, so your sleepy little owl is all finished. Uh, again, no um, stitches here. So you're going to grab your 2.5 millimeter hook and you want the, the little hanging part to be at the back. So you don't want to interfere uh, with any of these V stitches here, uh, or V, sorry. So find the middle point. So of the three single crochets into the middle one, into just the back bump, you're going to grab your yarn and uh, chain 14 or as many as you like. Put the tail over the working yarn just to secure it and chain however many uh, stitches you want. But 14 seems to work for me. Okay, you're going to go back into the same stitch that you joined and slip stitch. Okay, you're going to chain one, turn 
your work. And now working back along the the entirety of this loop, you're going to work slip stitches all the way, making sure you're going under uh, two bumps. There, so it's you're working into the back of the, so you can see your back bump here. Make sure you're through there. And you're going to work slip stitches all around, weave in those ends, and that's it all finished. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I think it's beautiful. So these uh, make lovely little gifts or random acts of crochet kindness. Um, and like I say, you can do different colours, different um, yarns. This is like a thicker cotton. Yeah, so that was the Sleepy Little Owl. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, uh, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye now.